Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to find mean using the step deviation method. So in this example, this is the class interval column and here is the frequency column. And the formula to calculate mean using step deviation is this. But before we can use this formula, we need to find a few columns. So what is the first column? Well, it's known as the xi column or the class mark. Now what is the class mark column? It's nothing but adding the upper limit and lower limit of the class interval and dividing it by 2. Now friends did you observe that this class interval is nothing but the inclusive class interval because see there is a gap between the upper limit and the lower limit. So do we have to convert it to exclusive class interval? Well if you are only calculating the mean there is no need to convert it to exclusive. Even if you convert it you are going to get the same answer. So let's continue as it is. What is the class mark? 101 plus 105 divided by 2 that is 206 by 2 I'll get 103. See friends it's very easy. Same way here if I do I'll get 216 by 2 which is yes 108. Now in this way you can calculate all the other entries but there is an easier way to calculate. All you need to do is once you find the first class mark just add the class size to it. Now what is the class size? It is H. So any class interval just subtract the upper limit and the lower limit and just add 1 to it friends okay because this is inclusive. So 125 minus 120 one you'll get four just add one you'll get five so the class size here is five so just add five to 108 you'll get 113 see it's so simple you'll get 118 and so on you can fill and get the other xi values okay now as you observe the xi values are very big so that's why we don't use the direct method we'll use the step deviation method so to make these numbers smaller we create another column which is the xi minus a column now what is a a is nothing but the assumed mean so how to find it just choose any xi value friends from this column but usually we choose the xi value which is around the middle so that we get very simple numbers okay so that's why we are going to choose 118 as our a or assumed mean so let's quickly do xi minus a so 103 minus 118 yes I'll get minus 15 remember there is a minus sign so this here I'll get minus 10 here I'll get minus 5 0 this will be 5 this will be 10 and 15 very carefully do the calculations now once this column is over we further simplify these numbers friends the next column is ui now what is ui it is xi minus a divided by h so what are we doing we are just going to divide all these numbers by the class size h so let's go ahead and do that so minus 15 by 5 which is minus 3 remember to take the minus signs also here you get minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 just have a look friends the numbers are so much simpler now so now the last column will be ui into fi where we'll multiply ui with fi now because there are many columns i would suggest you keep your fingers pointed at these two columns so that you are choosing numbers only from these columns so you'll get 10 into minus 3 minus 30 here you'll get again minus 30 uh, minus 20 this is 0 uh, 13 20 and here it will be 36 so very carefully do the calculations and that's it friends all our columns are ready let's go back to the formula it says here sigma ui fi now what is sigma yes it's a greek symbol which means adding so i'm going to add all the ui fi values friends very carefully because there are negative signs also you need to add and when i add i'll get the answers minus 11 now then it says sigma fi so again i need to add all the frequency values when you add it you'll get 100 now all the values we already have h and a so let's go ahead and compute the mean value x bar is nothing but sigma ui fi which is minus 11 divided by sigma fi which is 100 multiplied by h is 5 plus a is we have taken as 118 so here i'll get minus 55 by 100 plus 118 
Now this will be minus 0 0.5. I no need to cancel. You can directly write it like this plus 118. Now remember you have to subtract. So on subtraction I'll get 117.45. And friends here is the mean value for this data using the step deviation method. Now I've already calculated the mean of the group data using direct method. Now answers will always be the same whatever method you use. But just have a look at the numbers friends. Here UIFI values are very simple but here the XIFI values are very huge and that's why we have chosen the step deviation for this data but there is one limitation of step deviation that is XI minus A values which we got here should be perfectly divisible by the H value that is the class size here it was perfectly divisible that's why we use this method otherwise it will be difficult so friends I hope that you found this video useful if so please do give it a like and do check out the other videos on our channel so till we meet again in the next video take care